Hi, and welcome to your June minicast. I am one of your hosts, John Soderberg, along with my co-host, Tanisha Waddell Pyle. And we are just going to kind of jump right into things. Um, this is June. So with June, that brings a lot of activities. So many yeah. things going on. As a matter of fact, the next couple months is going to be chock full of activities. Um, my path is going to be out and about doing all sorts of things in the communities in both states. But we're kicking it off right now, this month in June, for Pride Month. So this is going to be a really special um, mini cast that we have going on today. And um, we're just going to kind of jump right into it. Yeah, we're going to have a special guest. And joining us is our special guest from T.C. Harris School and Academy here in Indiana mm -hmm. is Miss Tamika Bryant. Yeah, she's joining us in the studio today. So um, let's get right to it. All right, so joining us is Tamika. So if you would give us briefly um, your name, uh, what company you work for, and your role, and then just share a little bit about your path to my path, how you came to us, and then which one of the Pathfinder groups are you a member of and have joined? Oh, my name is Tamika Bryant. I work for T.C. Harris in Lafayette. I'm a IT, IA, they switch the names, mm -hmm. instructional aide in the um, elementary, educational, or academic classroom. Mm -hmm. I've been there almost two years now. Mm -hmm. I started no, yeah, some, November, this November make two years. Mm -hmm. And I forgot the last question. <laughs> <laughs> Which Pathfinder group are you part of? Um, well, I'm actually part of several, but the one I go to religiously is the LGBTQ, because you always remind me of the meetings. <laughs> Fair. And I keep missing the other ones, because I'm also, I've signed up for the Women's Pathfinder and the Diversities Pathfinders, and the, I want to say the recycling. Oh, the environmental. Oh, environmental, yeah. but I always miss the meetings, because yeah. I get so many emails in a day. Yeah. yeah. And sure. either you or Megan always send me a message like, it's Tuesday, Pathfinder. Like, That's right. Mm -hmm. Gotta go to Pathfinder. Yeah. yeah. I, I am notorious for coming and fighting you. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that happens. And then, so you, cause especially with like the midweeks. So what happens is like, oh, wait, it's Pathfinder's week. When I remember, I say, like, oh, wait, the first half was last week. And, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So we have those split weeks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. yeah. Like, next week, I'm definitely going to go to the other ones. No. Yeah. <laughs> I keep missing them. Yeah. So we're just going to kind of jump right into kind of your experience of like going to the Pathfinder groups and different things that you've been involved with. So can you share your first experience attending an LGBTQ plus Pathfinder meeting or an LGBTQ plus Pathfinder event? Um, I remember my first meeting because I knew I wanted to go, mm -hmm. but I had actually forgot about it and was leaving for the day when Megan, uh, she works at the front desk at T.C. Harris, told me about it and I was like, well, I was a little scared to go in there. Mm -hmm. And she got John and they convinced me to go in there. So I was like, I don't, they didn't start it, that's okay. I don't wanna be, cause it, like I said, it was, I don't know why, it was just nerve wracking for mm -hmm. me to go in there. Mm -hmm. And I believe we played Kahoot that day. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah, It was right before Outfest. Mm -hmm. yeah. And you had snacks. <laughs> <laughs> yes, snacks. we did have snacks. I think it was um, the Pride Month last year, the Pride Month event we did. Uh huh. So we had. We had so that was my first one, and I was like, because I knew it was something I wanted to be a part of. I just mm -hmm. was worried about going in there by myself. Yeah. And yes. I've been trying to go to them every month since then, yeah. and convince others to join me, but yeah. I haven't got a lot of people. Mm -hmm. So what was your initial thoughts and feelings when you went to the meeting, for one of the meetings for the first time, and then one of the events for the first time? Well, for the first meeting, it was more, I just wanted to sit and listen, mm -hmm. if that makes sense. Like, because that was my purpose of joining, mm -hmm. to be an ally. Mm -hmm. But I didn't know, like, I had an, oh, my mind went blank. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I had an idea about what, you know, what my role as an ally should be, but it's like, mm -hmm. well, to better understand, maybe I should talk to people that mm -hmm. I want to be allied with. What right. do they need? What are their concerns? And then the first event I went to was for, was Outfest, mm -hmm. and I helped with the booth there, and it was a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs> mm -hmm. Just wandering around and just seeing everybody from work come through and just, just other people, because I, being my big old age, I can remember a time with something like this, it would not have gone as nicely and smoothly. Yeah. It was like, it would have just 
ended in violence most likely. Mm-hmm. And so to be able to see like, even in a little town like Lafayette being so accepting and having this event, everybody's just so loving and warm and just like accepting. <laughs> That's just like, this is just us. And it's yeah. like, this is what I want for everybody. Yeah, it was awesome. Yeah, and I think to call out something that you said that's really important is wanting to be an ally. Mm -hmm. And then what does that really mean? And then coming to the meeting and learning and how do you support? And a couple things that you said that are fantastic. Um, People know this if they know me. Tanisha's heard me say it Mm -hmm. to me. Ally is a verb, so Mm -hmm. it does require an action, Mm -hmm. right? And so that was an action. You took action. Mm -hmm. Uh, And then another key important thing you noted was learning how to support them the way they want to be supported. Because you mm-hmm. can't speak over people. You right. can't You can't make assumptions. So I just want to um, praise you for, for knowing that and, and speaking to that. And then talking about coming to the event and the festival, um, how do you feel that that or the meetings have influenced you personally and or professionally? Hmm. I would say, like, I am a lot more vocal, especially with trying to get people to come to the meetings. Mm-hmm. And... I get, it's weird to say this because I don't want it to sound a certain way, but before when I would try to get people to come meetings, it's like, it was always the first question of, well, oh, why do you go to that one? Are you? And it's like, well, it doesn't matter. But then, like, I always felt I need to, like, oh, well, I'm not. It's like, well, no, it doesn't matter if I am or not. Mm-hmm. It's not a question you need to know. I just want you to come mm-hmm. so we can all, because we have, I know for certain we have, co-workers here that aren't comfortable, even though T.C. Harris is a very welcoming place. And like I say, all are welcome there. It's everywhere. Mm -hmm. And nobody's given judgment for anything, but Mm -hmm. they still, because of society and maybe other places they've worked and things they've gone through, Mm -hmm. don't feel comfortable coming out. And it's Mm -hmm. like, well, if there's something that's happening here, you have to speak up because I, I can, you know, I can say it, but I'm not experiencing. I don't know what you're struggling with, and I don't want to assume what you're struggling with. So I want you to tell me, mm-hmm. so I can better help it not it get better. Mm-hmm. Or if it's great, let me know it's great. So mm-hmm. it's like we oh we don't need to change anything, but that's pipe dream. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a nice pipe dream. Yeah, yeah. Because we all like coming from a minority group. Myself, I know. There are a thousand microaggressions we all deal with every day Mm -hmm. and things that people just don't know. You don't realize like, oh, well, you know, that's kind of offensive. And I know you're used to saying that or you think, but it was never okay. It was just the fact that people that didn't like it really couldn't say they didn't like Mm -hmm. it or else, you know, there was, you know, they could get hurt. They could die or lose their jobs Mm -hmm. or things like that. So Mm -hmm. we all have to evolve. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the fact that there's a space that, you know, is welcoming and want to make sure that we amplify the voices and experiences of our LGBTQ plus community Mm -hmm. and populations and all of my path. This is obviously a great space to do that in. So um, thank you for coming and thank you for sharing. And also thank you for trying to get other people to join the Pathfinder meetings as well, because it is important. Like you said, some people just maybe a little nervous and they're like, I don't know if it's really safe. So you're putting it out there like, yeah, this is safe. Come to the meetings. We have events, all these fun things. So that's really good. Um, So what part, what ways has being a part of the LGBTQ plus Pathfinders? um, And I guess you kind of already answered this, but if you want to add a little bit more to it, in what ways has it enriched your understanding and or awareness of diversity, equity, inclusion? And you did touch on that a little bit. Just want to know if you have anything else to say. Well, it's, like, like right now, how you're every month you're going through a different one of the mm-hmm. letters in the LGBTQ. And each month I do find, even though I think that I've, I know, well, I already know about this. I always find myself learning something new about it mm-hmm. or things I, I literally did not, my, uh, I can't think of the right word for it. I was ill-informed or something I thought was okay was not okay. And it's like, oh, well, language changes, language evolves. So this is the... This is what the terms we should be using for this group or that group. And it's like, okay, I get that. And it shouldn't be a big deal to say, hey, yeah, that word you say, it's not okay. Let's pick a different word. It's just language. Like I say, it changes. And if the people that are in this group are saying, this is what I want to be called, then this is what we should call them, and it's okay. Mm-hmm. And I guess because I've always been like accepting just because of the way I grew up. And the people around me and the people in my family that I've always felt like I was an ally. But it's like, but I don't know everything. And I know your story and how you feel about certain things. But it's like, it might be because you're just used to being the, you know, square peg in a round hole. So you accept a lot. But 
might not be like that for everybody else. So I want to know for every, from everybody else, like, what do you want from me? What do you need from me? I want to just listen to you. Mm-hmm. I don't want to talk, like you said, talk over you or take center stage because it's not, this isn't my party. This, I'm supposed to be stage crew and this. I think this is basically mm-hmm. theater kid. <laughs> <laughs> so I want to, you know, do things to make sh- sure your show shines, if that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. No, I think that makes total mm-hmm. sense. And mm-hmm. you touched on this a, um, a little bit when you mentioned coming to one of our meetings doesn't necessarily even mean that you are a member of that community mm-hmm. and you can be an ally of the community, you could just feel strongly or passionately about the environment mm-hmm. or mm-hmm. you can be a man and go to the women's group, right? Yeah. Because you feel strongly about that. So I think that that's an important <laughs> call out because I think that is something people get confused about. Yeah. It's like you can be, so going along that, what advice would you give to somebody on the fence that's that's kind of where you were when maybe Megan and I <laughs> um, very gently and kindly invited you into our meeting, uh, but what advice would you give to anybody on that fence about coming for the first time to an event or one of the meetings? I would say just take the plunge, even if you, like say, if you're uncomfortable, like mo- a lot of them are Zoom meetings, so you can just you know log into the Zoom call and just cut your camera off and listen mm-hmm. and just take everything in. That way, you know, just, because you all asked us to type, you know, who you are, mm-hmm. just mm-hmm. just to hear what's being said. And if you don't like it, you don't have to come to another one. Mm-hmm. But till you get more comfortable to, to turn the camera on and, you know, actually participate in the meeting mm-hmm. or find out, get yourself up to speed, just just do it as Nike said. Yeah. <laughs> just do it. Just do it. And that's a lot coming from me because I am, a, like, you said, like I said, I'm 100% like, I don't know if I'll be comfortable. I, I'm scared to walk in there. What are they going to think? Mm-hmm. Because sometimes you got to get out of other people's perceptions of you. It's like, do you want to do this? Then do it and listen and learn. And then maybe you can be the change you want to see, mm-hmm. you know, because mm-hmm. it all it has to start somewhere. Right, right. And so what advice would you give? So that's the meetings. What advice would you give about um, attending a Pathfinders event for the first time or like even Pride um, event for the first time? Same advice. Mm-hmm. Um, find some friends. Find a group. Or if it's just, especially like at my our workplace, there's always somebody going to every event. So mm-hmm. just find somebody, hey, you know, are you going? Is it okay if I go with you? If you have to go alone, don't be. A, you can make new friends because, mm-hmm. like, I went to Outfest with the intention, like, say, I was helping with the booth, but mm-hmm. like, technically, I was just by myself mm-hmm. and just walking the streets. Mm-hmm. And because everybody was so welcoming, it's like you can meet new people. You yeah. can find new. You know, you can find you find your tribe. You never know. <laughs> and that was one of the cool things. Mm-hmm. Like, even though you come to the event, you're not you're not confined to the booth. It's mm-hmm. like. You, it's like a hanging out. Like you get yeah. to come hang out. You get to kind of talk about your company. Then you get to go mingle and kind of do some things. You get to check out the event. So it's just really awesome that you can represent your company that aligns with the values and the things that you believe in, but then also connect with community. And as it's well. so shocking how many different booths are at the different places. And you mm-hmm. never, it's very if you have preconceived notions going into this mm-hmm. and feel a certain type of way about certain site, like just show up and listen because there's like. Even there were so many different um, faiths out mm-hmm. there from um, Baptist to Christian, mm-hmm. Jewish. And it's mm-hmm. like, talk to these people mm-hmm. and they can tell you, like, especially if you have a thing, because I know it's a lot of religious trauma. Mm-hmm. Talk to some of them because not everybody prescribes to that toxic set of ideals. Mm-hmm. That, mm-hmm. And most actual religious people believe, like say, love is love. Mm-hmm. And that's all. So talk yeah. to them. And then some of the different booths and like things you didn't know would never yeah. known was in the city yeah you find them there so go and yeah. have fun and broaden your horizons and open your mind up to new people new places yeah and i like how you said that you get to really see who all are allies because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. it's like at this event you're like oh wow you're here you're supporting so i would have mm-hmm. never thought this group was in support but now i know right so and now, now you have a broader awareness of mm-hmm. of who your allies are right. and you may be like now i'm more inclined to like well man i'll do this because i know what you stand for mm-hmm. and like mm-hmm. i said you occasionally get the you see people that are just full of hate and that also tells you like well and i also know who i don't want to support stay, anymore stay mm-hmm. like, away from that. That. Right. Yeah. yeah absolutely yeah well and i think i can speak for everyone here but also 
for my co-chair Eden Danro mm-hmm. and then our exec sponsor Kim Ray that we appreciate you bringing your voice to the table, right? I think mm-hmm. that's one of the benefits of these meetings is yeah. anybody in the company anywhere can come to the table and bring their voice. And it's it's interesting to hear, and I knew this, how maybe timid you were to join the meetings at first. <laughs> If y'all come to these meetings, mm-hmm. that is not the case anymore. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Tamika definitely, definitely has a voice at that table. Yeah, she definitely uh, speaks And up. she uses it, and she mm-hmm. speaks in, I, and I appreciate that, right? Because that is part of that allyship um, and bringing those issues up and being willing to talk and being willing to learn. One of our core beliefs and behaviors is around continuous learning, and this mm-hmm. is a great example of that. I don't know how many times you've mentioned, well, I learned this, or I thought I knew that, and you can learn this, and you mm-hmm. learn that. Um, so it really blends well with what yeah. we believe uh, yeah. wholeheartedly as an organization as well. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Well, thank you so much yes, for joining you. us. Yeah, we really thank appreciate you. For you. Me. Yeah, of course. Fun. Yes, we're glad you <laughs> Anytime. did. Anytime. Anytime. So thank so, you. Thank you, Tamika, yeah, thanks, for joining Tamika. us. We really appreciate all that you do for not only our LGBTQ plus Pathfinders, but our Pathfinders in general, and also all the great work that you do at TC Harris to take care mm-hmm. of our students. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for having me. I had a great time. And can't wait to do more of this. I I just promised something. (laughs) We gonna hold you to that. All right. Awesome. Wow, that was really great. Thank Mm -hmm. you to Tamika for sharing um, all that she shared and inspiring people to want to come out and join some of the meetings and some of the Pathfinder events. That was really great. And also just get more involved, especially this month for LGBTQ plus month, for Pride, to get out and about and um, enjoy some of the festivities that are going on. Absolutely. It was a great time. And I appreciate her taking the time to share her story and her journey with us. Right, right. Right here in the studio in Lafayette, Indiana. So <laughs> she came came down and visited us from um, TC Harris School and Academy. So sure really did. Good. And then I guess with that. Oh, wait. Monthly awareness yeah. highlights. Don't forget. Make sure you check those out. You can either look at the abbreviated versions that you, that have been coming out, or you can go back into the Work Ready app and look at the ones that have been um, that are there since 2021. So each month you can go in and take a deeper dive into those monthly awareness highlights, or you can look at those um, newer ones that are a little bit more abbreviated but still have some information. Perfect. Mm-hmm. And with that, <laughs> with we will, that, we will see you we in will July see you next month in July.